nothing left to lose now. X Squadron, report in. Y Squadron, report in. Anybody? Here, I'm here. Identify yourself. ATAC. ATAC? Yeah. Your launch ship's intact. Where is the regular radio op? No, it's gone. I'm in a Galak S fighter. Kurokawa's ship. He got hit before they launched. And I'm as good as gone. I've got a dead stick. ATAC, I need you to concentrate. You're the last fighter left. Cycle through your systems. Let's calibrate that steering. I'm going to have you aim at the targets. Aim down. Just point the stick in the direction you want to aim. Good. Aim up. Aim at the next target. Okay. Good. You're calibrated. Test fire your lasers. Working. Check your forward thrusters. Thrusters, good. Looks good. Remember, steering and thrusters work together. Now, your reverse thrusters. Yeah, got it, got it. When using thrusters, a faint blue bubble around your ship shows the distance enemies can hear you. Looks like your controls are working. Oh yeah, coming back online. What happened? The Imperials. The Baron's entire fleet. They were waiting for us. Hammered us the moment our fleet came out of warp. I don't know how I managed to get us out of there. I don't know if anyone else made it. Okay, I've got a read on your signal. You're, uh... ATAC. I need you to listen and do exactly as I say. It's bad, right? I mean, th there's no way that doesn't mean I'm screwed. Well, you're in a narrow band of asteroids surrounded by Imperial Dreadnoughts. Those rocks are probably preventing them from scanning you. There's a gap in their coverage on the far side of the belt. Make it there and I can warp you back. First, I want you to head to this large asteroid. It seems to be hollow. You'll be able to use it for cover as you fly through it. I've marked it on your guidance system, so just follow the targeting arrow. Okay, voice on the radio, I guess I'll trust you. This voice on the radio is Beam, and I'm bringing you to the science vessel Axelios. Okay, Beam, here's to hope. Let's make sure your boosters are functional. Just hold down boost. Whoa! Watch your engine temp. You have to give it time to cool down between boosts. Adam Takamoto, Academy Class of 23. Yeah, are you pulling up my records? Zero confirmed kills. Look, lady, you can confirm everything I just killed. Okay, okay. We just haven't worked together before. Just trying to understand who you are. I've reached a big asteroid, and there's definitely a cave system. Looks dark inside. Well, go in and keep reporting. Your shields will absorb all but weapons-grade collisions, so don't worry about bumping into walls. You can also break. Just hold both thrust buttons at once.
Your shields will absorb initial blows. They do need time to recharge. Get hit while your shields are down and you'll take permanent health damage. You'll see your shields represented as the blue bars on your HUD. The red bars indicate your health. Uh, a repair kit? Good find. Your salvage unit can suck it up. Micro machines repair health you've lost in battle. One more for me. You've got probes between you and the exit. Take them out before they report you to the destroyers. Just keep firing and moving. Take that! Space junk. Uh, I'm out! Good. I found missiles nearby. It's on your way. Open your map to get a sense of it. Missiles are back online. More probes. Be ready to take them out. Probe spotted. Test your missiles on them. Hold the missile button to open the targeter. Hold the targeter over enemies to build missile locks. Keep holding to lock on more missiles. Release to fire. Okay, I've set up the beacon. Get to it and get out. Don't get too cocky. The beacon signal rings out loud and clear, and there's a good chance they'll have sent someone to investigate. Not to mention all these dreadnoughts! Beam, they're getting closer. Well, so are you. Stingray, he's guarding the beacon. Hey, here! Yeah! Taking damage! Another one down! All clear. Let's go.